Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here with a video for My Favorite Things. In today's video, we're going to be creating a word shaker card using products from the new May 2016 release. More specifically, I'm going to be using the Absolutely Fabulous Dynamics, which is this great fabulous word, and I'm going to be pairing it with the Diagonal Sentiment Strip cover-up to create a fun shaker card. So the first thing I did was I took the Diagonal Sentiment Strip cover-up and I just went ahead and die cut that from some white cardstock. So you can see here now when you die cut the pieces, all of these little strips pop out and it leaves one main area in the bottom area that has no strips that come out so you can put your sentiment there. And it just so happens that the word fabulous fits perfectly in this area. So this is where we're gonna create our word shaker portion of the card. So I just took it back to my die cutting machine and I cut the word fabulous out of that solid area on the die cut piece. And now I'm just going to use my little poker tool here to kind of push those that word out. And when you do this, you just want to be careful. You want to make sure that you keep the little inside pieces of the letters. So you want to keep the little piece in the F and the A and the B because we're going to adhere those back into the center area of these letters once we have acetate adhered to the back for those to hold on to. Just so that they still have the look of the full letters and you don't have those big empty spaces that you can see now with it just die cut without the center areas. So I'm just very carefully popping these out and I'm just going to set them aside until I'm ready to adhere them back in. And then once I have those ready to go it's time to actually adhere our acetate piece to the back of this. So I found the easiest way to do this was to use a liquid glue pen mainly because those strips are kind of skinny so it's hard to get a tape runner in there and you really want to make sure that you have adhesive around all of the little pieces of the word fabulous because you want all of those pieces to completely adhere down to that acetate. What will happen if you don't fully adhere it is they'll kind of stick up and they'll catch easily and you may find that your word kind of rips and you don't want that to happen. So you want to make sure you fully adhere that down and then just go ahead and lay your acetate piece over top. I just cut this acetate piece with my paper trimmer and I just cut it slightly smaller than that cover up so that it would fit behind and you wouldn't see it around the edges. So now I have this great cover up with the um, acetate directly behind it. So that's going to allow me to go ahead and fill these letters back in. So to make it easy and to make sure everything's kind of straight and where it's supposed to be, I just went ahead and laid the word fabulous back inside the area that it was die cut from. And I just added some liquid adhesive into the center areas of each of these letters. And I'm going to just place these inside pieces back in and let them kind of adhere down onto that adhesive. And then once I know that they're stuck down, I'm going to go ahead and pull the word back out and just leave the inside pieces in that um, word. So now you can see I have all the inside pieces and they actually look like letters again, so we're good to go. So I'm just going to put a little acrylic block on those to kind of hold them down while the glue dries. And I'm going to go ahead and work on my strips. So now I want to add color to all these little strips because I want to put them back into the card. So I want, when I finish this card, I want the only area that you can actually see through the acetate to be the word. So I want to fill all the openings back in with these pieces that we've die cut out, but I want to kind of give it a rainbow look. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my distress inks and I just kind of have the the strips that we've die cut lined up in the order that they came out of that die cut and I'm just using my ink blending tool to go ahead and add color to all of these different strips kind of going in rainbow order and I'm just completely saturating each strip with my ink blending tool and then as I go I just kind of clean up my mat um, so that I don't kind of cross color each of the strips and then I just keep moving along until I get them completely covered. So I went ahead and did red and then orange and then yellow and then now I'm doing green and like an aqua color and then I'm going to do blue and finish off with purple. And for the red and the purple I just went ahead and did two strips of the red at the top left corner and did two strips of the purple on the bottom right corner. Just because these are kind of small strips so I felt like it was fine to do the two of them together. And then once I have that done, to kind of give it a fun distress look, I just went ahead and laid all of the pieces onto a paper towel and I'm spritzing them with water. And then I folded the paper towel over after I let it sit for a couple of seconds. And you can see there that the paper towel lifts some of the color off of those pieces. And this just gives it a really fun kind of water splotch distress look and I just really like the look of it. So now to adhere these onto this little piece here, I'm just using my matte multi-medium. I like this one just because it's a really strong adhesive, so I know it's really going to hold these pieces in. And I just ran it along the acetate pieces on the center area of all of those openings. And now I'm very carefully just going along and adding all of the colored strips back into the piece. So now you can see here as I go ahead, I have the acetate in the behind area that's going to hold these strips on and you're not going to be able to see anything behind them. So we end up with a window just where that word fabulous is and nowhere else on the card. And that's kind of the look I was going for because I only want the shaker to be under the fabulous part. 
So now you can see here, I went ahead and already added my foam adhesive. I just completely covered the back of this piece with foam adhesive. I did two layers using um, a roll of foam tape, and I made sure to put adhesive directly around the word, and that's because I want all of those sequins to stay right in that area. I didn't want them shaking around the entire area of the card, so putting the foam adhesive on the top and bottom area of the word is what kind of keeps those sequins in there and makes sure that the word always has sequins inside of it when you're shaking it around. So once I have all the sequins in there, I just did a nice mix of colors to kind of go with the rainbow strips on the rest of the card. I'm just removing all of the backing from the adhesive, and then I'm just going to go ahead and place a cardstock panel on the back, cut slightly smaller than the cover-up that I used on the front, and now that's going to hold all those sequins in there, and we have this fun little fabulous um, shaker word on this card. So not only do you have the fun colors on the strips, but we also have the fun colors in the sequins that are all behind that word. And then I went ahead and just added that whole panel onto a top folding card base and finished the card by adding some additional sequins around the word fabulous and added some silver stickles to the center. And then I didn't catch this on film, but I decided after I finished the card that I thought the word fabulous looked a little bit too plain in that area. So I decided to use the new Because You stamp set to add a little bit of stamping above and below that word to finish off that sentiment. And I love it so much more with that added stamping. And then that's going to complete the card for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.